guys hey you guys your girl Kayla B you know me I'm coming back to you with another video yes another video as you can see on my face I have no foundation bare face but I do have my brows my eyes and my lips done like usual cuz today we're doing two videos um first we're gonna figure out what my foundation shade is and the new shade rate which it's not, hasn't been it's not really new but it's new new because i used to be the last shade which is 4.4 and now they have like 4.4 4.5 4.6 4.4 4.7 which is the last shade and they changed from 42 dollars to 36 dollars so that's like wow um that's more affordable for me because you know i'm a cheap person so yeah anyways Let's get into this video. Oh, wait. And the second part of the video will be me doing lip swatches of some NARS lipsticks and like a little container or whatever. If you want to skip to that, I will leave a link down below. If you don't, then, you know, let's keep on watching. I mean, keep on watching. So I have this Sephora packet right here. This is the stuff. It says A1, E2, E3, A45. So they're only supposed to give like three samples, but she gave me four. By the way, if you don't know me, I'm Kayla B. Um... I'm a YouTuber. I'm just a person who likes to play with makeup, test stuff out, review stuff, you know, do some looks. Also unbox stuff, sometimes eat on camera because, you know, a girl likes to eat. Um, basically that's it. Sometimes I sing, sometimes I dance. I mean, I am a person that just likes to have fun. So if you don't like that, then hey. And I don't have the best of quality, so I mean, I'm a real person. I'm not big i'm not rich i mean i'm minimum wage you know middle class like come on now anyways this is the first shade this is my shade that i wear right now this is a one in the thing let me see there we go this is 4.4 actually i lied a one is 4.6 i'm gonna get 4.4 right now 4.4 is b and this is what it looks like you can see it's like a reddish undertone and here's what 4.4 looks like on my face. I swatched it. I'm going to blend it in. As you can see, it's almost a perfect match. But it's too, too red of an undertone. I need a little bit less. So if I could find that throughout the other ones, I'm here for it. This is a 4.5. This is what it looks like. This is a B. No, this is a C. C. This is 4.5. I am swatching. Right next to it. Now, 4.5 is actually the perfect shade for me. Huh. Just one thing up. It has, like, more of a neutral to yellow undertone. <laughs> it's perfect. This is 4.6, I think. Yes, yeah, 6. Yep, here it goes the red again. This is a little bit deeper in shade. As you can see. I mean, the other ones have faded. Here's the shade on my finger. And here is 4.7, which again is like more yellow and um neutral undertone as you can see the other two has dried and faded and to my skin I, but you can still see the difference this is more redder and this is like neutral like it blends into my skin really well so i think i am 4.5 i mean what do you guys think i think i'm 4.5 i'm just gonna blend it into this and with the foundation brush just blend them both and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rightful shade, 4.5, because as you can see, the other ones are dark. That's like dark right there. That's dark right there. If you could actually see the difference when it dries down. But I'm going to take my shade, 4.5, which is just one more up, which I'm so glad that I did because it's my perfect shade. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it all over my face and I'm going to do the lip swatches. Now, I just take my brush and just blend it into the skin. Uh. Mm. 
it's just like melting into the skin which I love I love when foundations just melt into the skin and as you can see it's like the same color as my skin complexion which is a bonus I need to put some more on this side because it's looking a little dry there we go. If you're wondering what lip gloss I'm wearing, because this is like a really pretty gloss. It doesn't go with this eye look, but it's just something I wanted to try out. This is the Tarte gloss that BoxyCharm sent me. I mean, everybody was talking about how it's like sticky and everything else, but I feel like it's a really comfortable gloss. It's not gritty. It's great. I mean, I don't know what they were talking about, but this gloss is great. And this shade is perfect. Oh, I love it. Okay, now I'm going to set it with my ColourPop powder. This is the Sheer Press powder. I need a backup because it's running out. I'm going to show you. You see? It's running out. It's running out. So, you know, I'm going to set this and then we're going to go into the lip swatches. Okay, I took off my lip gloss and we're going to put some NARS on. Now, here's the packets right here. This is the NARS Oticus Lipstick Rouge Olive, whatever that says. And here are the shades that we're going to be trying today. I'm really... Looking forward to that brown shade right there. This is what the first shade looks like on my lips. This shade is called Apolline. It's a powdery pink. Pink, 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 pink. This is the shade Anna. It will look really great with brown lipstick i like this because it's like a more purple based pink this shade i had like a little problems with as you can see but this shade i'm definitely using a brown lip liner only like doing it in a little bit so i can do like a little ombre ombre list look this is the shade um rockwell this reminds me of kiss in um anastasia beverly hills lipsticks yeah, this is a super powdery, like, brown undertone pink, but not super brown, like, milky brown. Like, this right here is not my nude. This right here, don't mind this part. This is just me, you know, taking off lipstick and, you know, everything else. My foundation over here has totally, completely came off because of all this. I'm going to have to reapply. But this is like my favorite one of them. I know it's a, like a bright, bold pink, but I love this. This shade is called Grace. Oh, that made my teeth look yellow, but this does make your teeth look yellow. So Ugh. this is the shade right here. And these are the three shades that I just swatched before this one. Uh-oh, here comes Annabelle. I love this red. This is a beautiful red. This is like a true blue base red. It's just gorgeous. I love this red. Yes, my lip swatches are not the best with a lip brush, but hey. This right here is like one of my favorite reds. This is like an orange base red. And this shade is called Rita. I actually have a friend named Rita, so... I love it. It doesn't go with this eye look. I mean, it kind of does if you want, like, a fiery, smoky, like, bronzy look. Oh, no. Hair piece out of whack. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful burgundy shade. Oh, I live for burgundy shades. This is called Betty. Oh, I love burgundy shades. Oh! I love it on my lip. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. <sighs> now this goes with this look. 
Now the last, finally, last shade, my, my lips are hurting, um, is called Deborah. And this is the shade Deborah, and you know this is my favorite shade out of all of them. I mean, do you like really have to ask? It's a brown. So, going from number one, meaning the best, to the last shade, meaning the worst, Deborah is number one, my favorite. Then it goes a Betty, because I love myself a burgundy. Then it goes a Rita, because I love myself a nice orangey red. Then it goes Anna, because I love this. I can mix it with a brown liner. Then it goes Grace. Then it Annabelle. Then these two shades, the top and the bottom is like my lace, because those are just too nude on me. And those are not my nude because everybody every skin tone has a different mood anyways i'm kayla b you know me and thank you for watching this video um everything about this these lipsticks the prices and everything will be linked down below and thank you for helping me on the journey to find my right shade match in the smashbox foundation which is not 4.4 anymore it's 4.5 anyways have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and bye guys